Hey YouTube. Uh, I've got this little. It's a Philips TDA 7000 FM radio stereo radio. Um, it's only configured in a mono fashion. I've put a little uh, LM 386. 386. I think that's what it is. Yeah. Uh, mono audio chip there. It's as you can tell it's not really good for the tune. Got it pulled up by the It's very UK products such as uh, beef to the US. Don't forget the connections the, are absolutely uh, terrible. EU trade that we Let me just turn that down. The connections are absolutely terrible, so it's Police in the oh. United States of Minnesota investigating the it's not very good. pop star. And it only really gets a couple of stations, very good, but the aerial's not, um, yeah, it's a bit of wire, going on to a little capacitor there. It's hard to know how to set one of these up, or it's not, because there's a few circuits out there, quite a few circuits really, sort of showing, uh, but a lot of the time I don't know what, what capacitors to put in, you know, ceramics or film or, and it's down to the limited range that I've got as well, so I'm a little bit limited to what I can do. I suppose I better not do that because the bloody copyright police, I don't know how long that's been on for, I forgot, I might have to cut it a bit or something. Uh, yeah, so, but as you can see, it works. I got the chip for a couple of quid off eBay. I'm not sure if it's a real one or not. Um, a lot of them were like four, five, six pounds. I got my found one for a couple of pounds. Uh, but just building that on the socket board, it means, of course, all of the connections are not very good, or some of the connections are not very good, and that does make a bit of a difference. But I think all of this would make a big difference. This is a very unprofessional way of setting one of these up, and I actually use this thing in here. It's called a tuning diode, and that's how I can get away with using a pot here instead of a tuning capacitor. Um, I'm not sure exactly how it works, it's like an IC type thing going on there, so... And I'm, I'm going to try it with a capacitor as well, I'm going to try it a different way. I just thought I'd give this a little go, see what if it would do it, if I could get it to work. Um, so a little while ago I did get it to work, but I didn't get any stations. But I hadn't set up this little tuning diode, I had to get that. But anyway, I'd ordered the diode, so we've gone with the diode. So, maybe get a couple of stations. That's like two, and then there's that chap talking, but it's because of the way this moves, it's not very really good for um, I'm going quite fast because I know there's nothing there. I'll have to play around with this little little coil down here I'm pretty sure what's down here is just what's up there so that's no good is it but if we visit all the way back there's a couple Doesn't sound too bad either. It did sound a lot tinnier. I tried it a little bit. I had the 100 nano farad here, and I've swapped that out now for 100 nano, uh, 100 mic. It sounds a lot more bassy.
I've got no idea. I wonder what anybody would look like with a chimney on them. Anyway, so there's my little uh, my little attempt, my first configuration for a TDA 7000 FM radio IC. Cheers for watching guys.